Hi, hello guys. Welcome to Rani's Nursing Academy, Nagar Koil. Hope you all are doing good, staying safe. So today, before going to the topic, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, Rani's Nursing Academy, and also click the bell icon so that when you are uploading our new videos, automatically it will show on your notifications. Yes, we gonna continue about our series one electrolytes under that sodium. Hope you for all the last video was very useful. It was about hyponatremia that is about the less sodium content. Now in this video we gonna see about the topic called hypernatremia. Yes, so this is also about the sodium. So hypernatremia is nothing but increased sodium in our serum. So you already know what is the normal value in the last class and so I have shown you that it's 135 to 145 milli equivalent per liter. So automatically when your blood serum level increases the level of 145 milli equivalent per liter that is called as hypernatremia. First let me start with the causes which can lead as to hypernatremia. So it is of four. It is first one decreased sodium excretion in the body increased sodium intake, decreased water intake and increased water loss in your body. So we can see about this thing briefly. First one is decreased sodium excretion. So when your uh, sodium content is not excreting in an adequate manner in your body, automatically the sodium level will get increased in your body. So the reasons like using of steroids, you already know about this methylprednisolone. When you are taking steroids of too much, no, automatically in your body there will be decreased secretion, excretion of sodium. Then the next one is about Cushing's disorder. So there is an endocrine disorder called Cushing's disorder where you can see hypernatremia and also in case of renal failure you already know in renal failure automatically due to this problem with the kidney failure the content will not get excreted adequately so automatically sodium will get built up in your body now the second thing is about increased sodium intake so sodium intake can be oral or less any IV infusions or due to any fluids in your body automatically the sodium get increased in your body then the next one this is very very important decreased water intake so yes example we can take NPO nilpel oral in case of uh, pre procedures in surgery or in case of starvation or any time no due to decreased oral intake of um, fluid or water automatically the sodium will get built up in your body and the next is about increased water loss yeah so for the increased water loss you can take increased rate of metabolism in your body or in case of fever, infection, diaphoresis that is, that is nothing but excessive sweating and also in disease conditions like diabetes insipidus where there you can see polyuria as a main symptom. In this particular things no, automatically there will be increased water loss that will happen in your body that can lead us to hypernatremia. So these are all the general causes that can cause hypernatremia or increased sodium level in your body. Now let me start with the symptoms. So let me start the symptoms by your uh, system wise. First let me start with the respiratory system. So due to increased sodium in your body, when the increased sodium is really due to hyperolemia or increased or excess fluid in your body, you can end up with a condition called pulmonary edema. Where pulmonary edema can be uh, accumulated by like you, how you can find out this is pulmonary edema as it was a symptom given that is pink frothy sputum or frothy sputum that indicates pulmonary edema then this next thing is about musculoskeletal system in musculoskeletal system you can develop symptoms like muscle twitching irregular muscle contractions can occur then in case of neuro altered cerebral function will occur due to increased sodium that may end up with lethargy and coma then about GI that will cause increased thirst and in renal this is very very important the patient may end up with decreased urinary output or oliguria then finally this hypernatremia play a major role in skin yes when your sodium content is so high in your body no automatically you can feel flushed skin dry skin and also you can develop edema all over the body and another important symptom is like sticky tongue you can occur so sticky tongue indicates hypernatremia in your body now let me tell you how you can find out your body is having increased serum sodium levels so this is mainly by lab investigations yes by 
serum level no you can find out increased sodium in your body that is above 145 milli equivalent per liter and when you are taking urine analysis or urine routine the specific gravity of the urine will get increased in case of hypernatremia now finally how the treatment will be always for the treatment first monitor all the symptoms i had given you so many symptoms in accordance with the system wise so you can go with all the symptoms you can monitor all the symptoms and symptomatic management you can give accordingly and second important thing is you can start on some iv infusion if it is really due to some fluid loss so if it is due to excess fluid loss in their body you can replace it with fluid so that automatically the sodium level will get increased in the body the next one is about when it is due to decreased renal excretion yes of course you can start on diuretics example loop diuretics frusamide you can give or thiazide diuretics like tri trichlorex you can go for so this type of diuretics you can use so that immediately uh, by administering your diuretics within some 5 to 10 minutes no automatically the action will start so that the patient will start to urinate automatically the sodium level in the serum will get reduced now and finally you can go for sodium restricted diet you already know what are all the sodium diet examples back on and as preservative diets and everything so you can tell your patient to restrict some salt in that diet so these are all the general treatment modalities you can give for the patient with hypernatremia so these are all the total contents that will come under this hypernatremia and it is completely based upon your NCLEX RN things so hope this video was very useful and I will see you soon in my next upcoming classes. Stay tuned for the interesting topic. Thank you so much and really thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you.